Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you some more glitch effects. Um, I already have two episodes on glitch effects, so if you haven't seen those, then be sure to check them out. I'll just show you a preview now. Um, yeah, that was that was probably quite laggy for you guys, but I'll skip through now. Um, so I'll show you multiple glitch effects in this video. Um, as you can see here, we have some twitch and some weird displacement happening. Um, looks quite cool. And then right here we have a transition, uh, as you can see here there's like the sniper of the second clip already fading in. Um, nothing too special. Uh, we have some fucked up colors over here and like all over the place. <clears throat> and um, some more twitch, nothing too special. And then um, there's this cool effect um, called optics compensation, it's actually like CC lens but I prefer it. And then also some displacement happening. <clears throat> so this stuff is quite easy to do, but I just figured I should show you uh, some more glitch effects I use in my videos. Um, yeah, it's quite easy to do. Basically for glitch effects, there's tons of effects you could use. Pretty much anything, just like, you can yeah, just like add some weird effects and masks and in the end it should look good, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, I, um, let me just disable all this stuff. Here. By the way, this color correction um, will be included in my color correction pack I'm uploading soon. So yeah, just leave a rating and um, I'll upload that at Christmas or something. Um, <clears throat> so basically this part here um, where this sniper is, uh, like the second clip is like fading in. Um, it's quite easy to do. Let me just um, delete all this stuff. I did here. So um, we just have the color correction. Uh, basically, I'll show you how to do a transition in this uh, tutorial, but you can also use these glitch effects for other stuff. Um, so basically, what I did here is I um, I'll just quickly do that. So go to the second clip, duplicate that layer, uh, then extend that out a bit, um, and then add um, time remappings. Go to layer um, uh, time enable time remapping, but I already did that. So yeah, just to add some slow motion at the start, so we want to make a keyframe here. And if you guys want a tutorial on how to sync with time remapping, then please just write that in the comments. <coughs> so go back a few frames, um, add another keyframe, and just extend that. So we have some slow motion here, and then it gets quick again. Um, then go forward a few more frames and cut that layer by holding down Control Shift and D, then delete that. So what we have now is basically nothing, um, just... Uh, some slow motion, but we want the transition to happen. So what you can do is play around with layer styles. Let's see if you um, put this on add and then bring down the opacity a bit. You can see this clip is like fading in. <coughs> so you could do that. Or what I did is I added, um, I made this whole clip black and white and then inverted the colors because that's kind of a cool look, I guess. And then there's loads of stuff you could do. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, if you're working with Twitch and other stuff, you should um, scale up your clips um, to 100,5 at least <clears throat> to get rid of the black edges because otherwise it just looks shit. And yeah, now we don't still don't have more. Um, so what's important about glitch effects in general is that you sync them all to your audio because otherwise it will just look weird and there's no flow and nothing. So to just preview the audio, you can uh, click the um, push the comma key on your keyboard on your numpad, like on your right. It's next to the zero and three. And I don't know how to do this on Mac. Just Google it. So by doing that, you can just preview the audio. Let me just do that. So there are like three major sounds. There's one here, and then there's another kind of glitch sound here, and then there's uh, two beats here. I hope you guys can hear that. So I already synced the um, uh, shut off the second clip to this beat, um, so it's looking a bit better. But yeah. Um, so <coughs> what you want to do now is just um, play around with layer styles, pretty much anything. Uh, what I did is I brought down the opacity, then went to the uh, uh, very first uh, one frame before the very first frame, <coughs> and brought this all up. Then went to the next frame where the clip started and as you can see here this is a 
kind of cool look in my opinion so I brought this down again let me just put that here so we have some like cool I don't know if that's cool or not but yeah you can also just like get rid of the invert if you want to that might look a bit better actually yeah and then uh, go forward a few more frames and bring down the opacity to, to zero so what we have now is uh, just some kind of a kind of nice transition um, I like the look of this so um, let's go for the glitch effects like the major glitch effects now um, what, I w what you want to do now is uh, create a new adjustment layer and this is where the where the very first glitch sound starts um, so I just want to add some twitch here I'm sure most of you know how to do this so yeah by the way I will put um, times of like where I use what effects in the description so if you don't want to watch this twitch part then just go there and uh, skip so I'll enable slide and light I brought up the speed to 15 so it's a bit quicker but this slide is way too much so I'm bringing that down to just 3 or something 4 uh, and then bring up the RGB split because that just looks cool in my opinion and play around with the direction if you want to and there's loads of other stuff you could do um, also the light I'll bring that down to like 15 <coughs> And this is looking shit now because we didn't keyframe it. So uh, I want to keyframe the amount from zero um, from this shot on. Go forward a few frames, like three frames or something. Bring this up and yeah, then you can bring it down again if you want to. I'm not bringing it all the way down because I want this to go pretty heavy again at this transition part here. Um, it's pretty much just keyframing. Like, yeah and then uh, bring this down again to zero. So what we have now is basically this. I'm just keep, uh, skipping through. Um, yeah, that's looking quite cool already. And yeah, the problem is I can't really show you the uh, preview uh, in After Effects because it's just lagging them. But yeah. Uh, I want to bring down this opacity a bit more because it's just a bit too heavy and then um, like this is the transition thing and then I maybe want it, want it to like flash a bit like go down to zero again then go up then go down to zero again so it's not that heavy <clears throat> okay um <clears throat> so the next thing uh, I want to add is um, some uh, I want to show you the effect displacement map there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with that it's basically just uh, yeah a nice glitch effect as you can see if I increase all this everything goes fucked up what you want to do is uh, check the red pixels around thing here so you don't have the black edges and then bring down the uh, vertical and horizontal displacement to zero and let's go to the um, point where we want to add this effect um, okay, I brought this to 9, that was smart. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I want to uh, keyframe this. Just bring it up a bit here. Uh, and also for the glitch effects, you don't want to spam out too many effects like I do in this uh, tutorial. Like, clean glitch effects with good syncing look way better most of the times. So, yeah. Don't just copy all everything I do now and use that in all your edits. I'm just showing you some techniques on how to do some glitch effects. So um, let me just show you what that did now. So we ha just have some displacement happening here. I wish I could just preview this for you so we can see this. Um, I'll just try now. Okay, that's already quite good looking. <clears throat> and also if I enable the twitch again, it will look even better. Um, so that's already uh, looking good, but um, I want to add some more glitch effects now. Um, I want to show you how to do the fucked up colors now. Uh, to do that, you have to add a new adjustment layer because now we're playing around with uh, uh, layer styles, uh, blending modes, sorry. And we'll add the effect magnify that I already showed you in my first episode of glitch effects with a broken pieces tutorial. Um, yeah, pretty much um, I'll just bring up the size so everything gets magnified. And then I want um, 
Let me just listen to that sound again. Okay, right here I want uh, this to happen, like the colors to fuck up. So what you want to do now is bring down the magnification to 100 and then go forward a few frames um, a bit more uh, and then bring this up to, I don't know, whatever you want and then you can bring it down again if uh, after a few frames. So what we have now is just some scaling happening but I don't want the scaling to happen, I want the colors to fuck up. So what you want to do now is go to uh, blending modes and you can change this to pretty much anything. If you change this to hue you can already see some change colors here, maybe saturation or something weird like add that also looks quite cool. Um, screen there's loads of stuff you could do. Okay, some stuff really looks bad, I know. But I'll just go with you for now. Um, so what we have now is um, as this uh, transition starts and there's another glitch sound, the colors start fucking up and then they go back right at this shot. Um, you can also add some uh, other stuff like maybe some other color correction, I don't know. Do whatever you want with this layer. Um, like if you add some curves to this and fuck up the colors a bit more it looks even better maybe I don't know um, yeah that's pretty much uh, it about that fucked up colors thing um, let me just disable that, disable that again um, what I want to show you now is the optics compensation thing um, it's pretty much like CC lens if, if you know that effect so um, that looks quite cool on like shots or something like this is already synced and yeah I want to add that now um, so you want to make sure you add this to the normal adjustment layer, so um, uh, you could also add this to the one with the blending modes that will look a bit weird but then I think, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> so what you want to do now is keyframe the field of view uh, from the shot on or whatever you want this to happen. Then go forward like three frames or something and bring this up. So this looks quite weird, I want this to be reversed. And then I want to check the optimal pixels thing, so we have those uh, black edges. Okay, that's maybe a bit too much in my opinion, so I'll bring this down a bit. Um, yeah, like that. So there's lots of stuff you could do. Um, you could also change this to vertical or uh, diagonal. I don't know if that's pronounced right. I'm sorry if not. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's loads of stuff you could do. And then the, just go forward a few more frames and bring this down again. So what we have now is, um, as this shot, uh, with this shot, like, it goes back, and I don't know, that looks quite cool in my opinion. I'll preview that, it will probably lag, I'm sorry if it does, but yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's looking quite cool. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is, um, how to do basic displacement, not with a displacement map, like if you want it to be more smooth and not this fucked up like here. As you can see, like without it looks like this, and with uh, displacement maps it looks like this. Uh, I want to show you how to do, um, how to use the turbulent displacement effect now. Um, uh, turbulent displace, so just drag that onto here. Um, <clears throat> and what's important about this effect is that you add the uh, especially about the optics compensation effect, you want to add that like uh, below all these other effects because otherwise you can see uh, those black lines fuck up. So yeah, um, go to the turbulent displacement, and I want this um, also to start with the uh, with this shot because it's kind of a cool killing effect, I guess. So bring down the amount to um, zero, not like that, and yeah, keyframe the amount. Um, and then go forward a few frames, like three frames or something, at least that's what I do, and bring this up. So as you can see, this looks quite weird now. Well, it's displacement, so yeah. Um, what you can do here is also change the pinning to pin top or something. That looks a bit fucked up. Pin all, that's what looks best. I know there's loads of stuff you could do here, but I prefer the pin all thing. Uh, and also, um, you can change the anti-aliasing, if that's pronounced right, to increase the quality a bit, but that doesn't really change that much here. Um, so, but I want uh, this to like uh, wobble a bit, I guess, if that's the word. 
So uh, you want to keyframe the evolution uh, from this frame on where, where it starts and go to the very end where you want it to end. Bring this down to zero and keyframe the evolution a bit like that. Um, if you like, as you can see, this is moving quite quickly now because I bring up the evolution quite a bit. But if you prefer it to be a bit less, then just uh, bring it down a bit. <clears throat> so it's a bit slower now. Um, all right, that's pretty much it about these effects. Um, there's loads of other stuff I could show you, like literally there's tons of stuff you could use for glitch effects, pretty much any effect there is, not, not like not every effect, but like if you play around with masks and blending modes and all that stuff, then there's so much stuff you could do, so just get creative, and if you want another tutorial, then just leave a rating, that would be awesome, and yeah, if you have any other requests, then write them in the comments, please. Um, that was it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed this, and... Yeah, follow me on Twitter if you aren't already, and thanks for watching. Bye.